cleaned out to the max. I have my new phone case here. I've already tweeted pictures of this. I was so excited the day I got it, I had to show you guys right away. But now I'm ready to kind of do a review, just a quick little overview and let you know what I think about the quality, um, you know, how it's made, if I think it's worth it for you, uh, you know, the cost and everything, all the whole lowdown about these. So this is from Lux Addiction. They were nice enough to contact me, ask if I was interested in testing out one of their phone cases. And I was like, sure, absolutely, because I don't have a phone case. I purchased my iPhone 3G like years ago and it has been naked ever since. I have not had a phone case. I've been holding out to find the perfect blinged out phone case. It had to be pink, it had to be cute. I had, I had all my specifications and I never found the right one. So my phone just stayed naked basically. I had a cheap one, like a cheap little plastic phone case just to get just to get by so it wouldn't be so slippery, but really I was after something like this and now I have discovered it. Um, I, I had heard about Lux Addiction on, you know, on YouTube, but I never like went to their website and checked it out um, before this. So this is my first experience with them. Um, they, they were very pleasant to work with, uh, but what we're here to talk about is if if this is worth it for you, like if you, you know, all of my fellow sparkle lovers out there, um, you, if you love sparkle as much as I do, then you probably really like, you know, like the kind of blinged out look too. Um, I love, I love the over the top bling and all the jewels, um, all the little roses and little flowers on here. They've got like the big crystals and big jewels on there. And then, um, you know, all the little flat backs all glued around the, the back and then, ooh, oh, oh, uh, Greasy, a little bit greasy there. Let's clean that off. We don't want to look at that. Uh, it's pretty on the back there anyway. So basically, when I first got this in the mail, I, I opened up the box and I literally had like a mini heart attack. And I was just like, I like hyperventilated and squealed at the same time. And my husband was like, what the heck is going on? Are you okay? And I'm like, yes. And I showed him what I was looking at and he was like, oh, well, that not that a little over the top? And I was like, yes, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted over the top. And here it is. Now... For any of you out there who like this sort of look also, um, you can always check out the Lux Addiction website. They basically have it broken up into two categories. So they have their Swarovski uh, 3D, or let's see, Swarovski Crystallized Collection, and then they have their 3D Crystallized Collection. Okay, so we've got two categories there. This is from their regular 3D Crystallized Collection. Um, I believe those run $79.95 if I'm not mistaken. The Swarovski Crystal ones, those are higher because, well, it's Swarovski Crystal and those are the most expensive crystals out there. Um, so basically, I wanna to talk to you about quality though too. So I'm, I'm always very detailed. You guys know I do Swarovski crystal for, you know, jewelry for a living. So I'm very into the crystal, the bling. So if you like this kind of over the top style, then definitely check out their website. They've got a ton of different styles on there. I just chose this one because, you know, it's pink. It's got the giant bow. I love bows. I love pink. It's just, it was like perfect for me. Uh, but like I said, they've got tons of different styles on there, all different colors. Um, they've got neutral ones. They've got leopard print ones. Uh, it was, I almost had a hard time choosing which one, but they've got, they've got all kinds of different ones and they've got something basically for everyone if you like the bling. So what we want to talk about though right now is about the quality and, you know, is, is the price worth it? Um, cause you know, $79, $80 is, is a lot of money, especially for a phone case. But I will tell you that, uh, while my phone was naked, I searched everywhere, I shopped everywhere. Uh, for a phone case, a blinged out phone case, and I couldn't find the right one. And the ones that I did come across, they were already like $30. Some of them were like $45, so it was already starting to get up there and they still weren't even close. Like they didn't even come close to this. Like how much is going on there? So I do think that because there's so much work going into it, like a lot of people might look at this and they might see, oh, it's, you know, it's a plastic phone case and so it's, it's painted. Uh, you know, the phone case is painted um, pink under there underneath the crystals from here down because it's got the gradients on this one. And they've got the jewels. So how much can really all of that cost? Well, it's not only about the cost of that because uh, there are some people that do like to make their own, but it's it's not just in, you know, that's perfectly great. I, I don't have the time or patience to make my own. But um, talking about the work that goes into it, that's that's where you pay the price is um, because there's a lot of time and effort that's put into getting all the crystals to lay right, getting them all placed right. Okay, so when it comes to that, I think the quality and the workmanship is is why it's it costs as much as it does. Um, 
Now, the other thing I will say is about quality, like how long the crystals last on there, because this is a phone, you know, we throw our phones around, they're jostled around in our purse. Um, you know, you have a good chance of a crystal popping off of here. It's, it's just, it's just how it is, especially for me. I'm very rough with my stuff and, you know, I try to be more careful now that it's in like a fancy phone case like this, but still, you know, things happen. Accidents happen. So I'm already missing a little crystal right here and right up here, a little tiny one. So I've got like a little medium sized one and a little tiny one that I'm missing. But a good thing is about this, um, they send them in these little uh, satin bags here. They send some extra crystals. So there's several crystals in there, just the little flat black ones where you can, you know, the different sizes. So I can go ahead and replace it, um, replace the little spots where, where it's lost its crystal. Where are we looking here? There we go. So uh, it's no problem to replace that. You can take um, glue, like there's jewelry glue, which I will probably use because I got tons of different types of jewelry glue. Um, E6000, uh, there's different types of super glue that can work. Um, you want to find one that's good for non-porous because you're using, uh, you know, you're not gluing on wood or something that's porous. You want non-porous since you're gluing to plastic, you know, a flat back of a crystal to plastic. And I think they also recommend uh, nail glue can work too. I prefer using the strongest glue possible because I don't want that sucker popping off on me again. So I'm just going to use probably like E6000. Those, that holds on pretty well. Um, uh, let's see, the other thing I guess I could say is these little flowers here. Uh, if you do get one that has the flowers, just be careful because I did chip mine down here, which again, that was my fault because I'm, I'm rough, rough with my phone and it's, it's right where it kind of sticks out on the edge there. So you just want to watch out for that. But Overall, I'm really, I'm really happy with this. I'm thrilled with how much work goes into these. I can appreciate how much work goes into these. Something that's handcrafted, I always have appreciation for. So I hope you guys found this overview helpful. And if you think that this is something for you, you know, if you like the kind of like over the top, really sparkly, really jeweled up, blinged out look, then definitely check out their website. I will have that link below. Um, check out their designs. They got lots of cute designs. And I guess basically what it comes down to is, uh, would I repurchase like if if something happens to my phone or you know if, Maybe like if I break my phone or something I have to buy a new phone Would I buy a new Lux addiction phone case to go with that phone or would I replace it? Um, yes, I would because I spent so long trying to search for like the perfect one and I was trying to get it for cheap and And I just wasn't coming up with what I wanted. I was just like no I, I didn't want to pay like 30 45 dollars for a blinged out phone case that wasn't exactly what I wanted you know, and this, this is as close as I've ever gotten to being exactly what I wanted. Like, I couldn't have done better if I dreamed it up myself, really. Um, and again, like I said, I appreciate all the handmade work on there. That, that definitely takes a lot of work uh, that I don't have time to do myself. So, I think that's everything. I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!